Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Royal and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's video is going to be a bit different than all of the other videos that I've made so far. I am going to focus on a platform, which is Etsy, but I'm not gonna go and dive deep into a certain topic because I've seen so many people who tell me like, I have designs for Redbubble, can I sell them as printable wall art on Etsy? Or I'm an artist, can I sell it as printable wall art on Etsy? Or a lot of people will say like, you know, I want to open an Etsy shop for printable wall art, but I don't have any design skills. And the thing is, there are so many different types of businesses you can open on Etsy. So many digital download businesses you can open on Etsy. And I actually have here a list that includes over 25 business ideas on Etsy, with printable wall art being one of them. So there are some stuff here that might combine the same elements together. For example, if you make beautiful illustrations, they can be printed as printable wall art, they can be printed as printable greeting card, and you can also sell them on stationery and other things like that. But there are other topics here that have nothing, nothing to do with design or, you know, just the basic design skills. And some of these you can actually make using Word or Excel. So I just want to go over this list with you guys and see if one of these topics resonate with you and gets you thinking, hmm, this could be a potential business idea. Now, when I talk about a digital download business on Etsy, it means that every type of business that utilizes the option for Etsy to sell something that is a file. So when you open up an Etsy shop and you put up your first listing, you need to choose if your product is physical or digital. If the product is physical, then you need to set up the time that you're going to make it, the time that you're going to ship it out, and the time that it arrives, as well as charge for shipping if you don't want to put the shipping price within the product. But if the product is digital, the minute someone buys it, they just get it to be downloaded, which has this enormous potential for you guys, because you make something once, and if it sells one time, cool. If it sells zero times, eh, less than cool. But if it sells 50 times or 200 times, you've still done the same amount of job. And this is something that I really personally like because I am location independent and I move along as I go. And I think that a lot of people who are location independent think that they cannot sell their creativity because they're not in one place. And that's not true. Now, if you've been watching my channel mostly for Redbubble, I believe that you will find items here that are fitting for your Redbubble designs as well. And one small announcement before I start with this one. All of these lists still don't include personalized digital downloads on Etsy, which will have a separate video to it. Let me get started. And when I get started, I wanna go over this list with you guys. I wanna give you up a few sentences or words on a certain topic. And I also wanna give you my 50 cents as to what can help you or what tools will you need for each and every one of those businesses. If one of those business ideas seems like a good idea for you, feel free to comment down below in the comment section and just let me know, hey May, could you make a total video just about that one? And for those of you who are watching this video with me as a video premiere, there is a live chat. I, I don't know if my camera's gonna flip, so it's either that way or that way. There is a live chat where we can chat during this video. Please do not worry about chatting with me and keeping me busy while this live video is running. This is a live premiere, which means I have pre-recorded it, edited this video and uploaded it, and we're watching it together. So I'm not actually talking right now. I'm just on the live chat. If you have any specific requests for future videos, do not do it in the live chat, but in the comments section below, because the live chat will go away as soon as the video finishes. The minute we're gonna finish with the video premiere, it's going to take about a minute and then you can watch the whole video together from the start. Now, if you haven't known my personal system for learning online, whenever I watch a video, a tutorial, anything online, anything that sums up a few topics, I like to take a notebook, take a pen, grab a cup of coffee and just sit and learn because I don't want to, I don't know, forget something important that was said. And I do want that at the end of the video, I will have like all the points laid out to me. I am going to open my own website, so I will have 
eventually the option for you guys to have it all laid in front of you. But for now, your notebook and pen would be enough. So let's get started. We have a long list to do today and I can't wait to get it done because there are pretty exciting things here that I don't think you've known about. Let me just have a sip of my coffee. And destroy it with my lipstick. And let's get started. The first thing you can sell on Etsy as a digital download item is, you guessed it, printable wall art. And printable wall art is an amazing item to sell on Etsy because a lot of people don't want to order a physical copy of an art. They don't know what the size that they want, it costs a lot of money, and they still have to wait for shipping. However, with printable wall art, in most cases and in most stores, each design is going to be available in so many different sizes, aspect ratios, and resolutions. So the person can look at a nice design and say, hey, I can get this printed on a large canvas in my living room, and maybe I should print it on a small print in my nursery. I can even print it for my own printer, which is awesome. And if you're looking into starting a printable wall art business on Etsy, I already have several videos about that. I have a video about how you can create your printable wall art on Etsy using Creative Fabrica, for those of you who don't have any watercolor or graphic skills. I have a video that explains the aspect ratios and basically the sizes and the file types that you will need to sell printable wall art on Etsy, as well as a nice video for how to make your Etsy wall art mockups using Canva. And that leads me to pretty much the most important thing when you're selling printable wall art on Etsy. And I'm not saying that the art itself is not important, and I'm not saying that the file type and the resolution are not important, but the thing is that no one's gonna find it out if you don't have a good mock-up. So pretty much the first and most important thing about selling printable wall art on Etsy would be to have a good mock-up. You could get mock-ups using Canva, you have my tutorial for that, or you can get amazing mock-ups using Placeit. I'm gonna leave a link down below to beautiful, beautiful, wall art place it mockups. The most important thing to remember about mockups is having a mockup that reflects the art's actual size. So if you're selling a nine by 12 inch design, you can't have a mockup that's like 20 by 36 inches because that would be consumer, I wanna say misleading. And technically if someone looks at a beautiful mockup of a huge, huge, huge wall art painting and then get a nine by 12 inch file, they can ask for their money back and they could give you a very bad review, which will pretty much kill your Etsy business and its diapers. Printable wall art, while a lot of people focus on the design side and create, you know, beautiful quotes and beautiful nursery printables, like with watercolors and stuff like that, printable wall art could also be photographs that you take. We're going to have a full video just about photography and where you can sell your photographs online. But it's really important to mention here that I see a lot of people who sell their photography as printable wall art, which means that they cut all the photos in specific ratios, and some people just sell the file of the full-on photograph. Some people want to use photographs digitally, they want to use it as backgrounds and backdrops, so you can also sell digital files of your photographs. The second digital download Etsy business you can open is selling printable greeting cards, and postcards actually. There's going to be a full tutorial on how to make and sell printable greeting cards on Etsy in two days on the 12th, so I don't think I will elaborate much on that. I do advise you to just go onto Etsy and write down printable greeting cards and see what people are doing. While a lot of people sell just the 5x7 or the 7x5 files for the greeting cards, I, when I had a full shop that was dedicated to greeting cards, I had my own system. I have a way to place all the cards on an A4 or US letterhead paper and basically people need to print them out, cut them and fold them to get a full foldable card that has design on both sides. This will be in the tutorial that we will have in two days on the 12th. Moving on to printable coloring pages. Now in this one I really want to set up uh, a comment and a remark. One, it's incredibly important that if you make printable coloring pages, you will design a PDF file of the coloring page on an A4 paper and a printable coloring book PDF on a US letterhead. Because some people have this type of printer and some people has the other one and you don't want to miss out on people ordering your things just because they have a different paper size where they live. Another important thing to mention when we're talking about printable coloring pages is the fact that people don't really search for them on Etsy. 
I mean, I remember, I think it was two years ago, that I went on to E-Rank to check out how many people are searching printable coloring pages on Etsy, and it was like 70 searches a month, which is a ridiculously low number, considering the fact that I personally know colorists or coloring page, you know, authors that create coloring pages, sell them on Etsy, and they sell thousands of pages a month. And the reason for that is because they are focusing their marketing elsewhere. They are not relying on Etsy for traffic. They are focusing the marketing through social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. The fourth topic, and basically the fourth type of business you can open that is an Etsy digital download business, is printable stickers. I don't know if you've seen my sticker video for Redbubble, but I am a sticker fanatic, and a lot of people are. And some people don't want to buy physical stickers. They don't want to wait up for the stickers to come up. They want to be able to control the sizing and they want to maybe even print out more than just one sheet. So you can create a full sheet of printable stickers that people would later on print at home on a sticker paper. And I'm thinking to make a full tutorial just on printable stickers. Please let me know in the comment section below if that is interesting to you. The fifth topic of a basically a shop that you can set on Etsy for a digital download business is printable planners, planner pages, and planner bundles. And planners can be anything. A planner could be anything from a relatively blank page that says a new day has come and has several hours next to it just for people to organize their day. You can make the same design to fit a weekly schedule, a monthly schedule, and there are also planners for designated things, like a planner for saving money, a planner for managing your weight, a planner for managing your mental health, which is a huge, huge thing right now on Etsy. And I do this actually for myself. I don't sell my planners, but I have a lot of planners that I design because I'm a planner buff. And in this topic, I think that the people that I found to be more successful are actually people who use planners because when you actually use a product, you know how to market it and you really know how to make it stand out. And again, in this case, the biggest thing is going to be the specific value of your planner. I do know a lot of people who sell planners that are colorful, but a lot of people prefer the black and white planners because they are easy to print because you don't have to have, you know, a special color toner in your printer. I do recommend that if you start on making your own printable planner Etsy shop, just make sure that you have both types of planners. You have planners in black and white and you have planners with colors. And those planners can be really basic, but then again, if a planner is super basic, but it has a nice photo in the background, has a nice little bunny, it has a nice little flower from watercolor, some people might buy it. So the art that you're making for other types of designs and websites can still be valid here. Moving on and in direct context, to the printable planners, we have printable calendars. Now, a lot of people might think that this might not be the time of year because if you wanted to start up a printable calendar Etsy store, the best time to start it up would be in November. But still, people are buying printable calendars. People are buying printable calendars for specific months or for all year long. So having a full store about printable calendars might be a nice idea if you have a way to make each calendar different. You basically create the template from the get-go of, you know, the days and the dates of each and every one of the month in the year, but you can change it. You can make one of them bigger, one of them smaller. You can add animals to it, like, you know, a cat calendar, a dog calendar, a fantasy calendar, even a calendar in one page, which is actually more popular than you think. But if you do choose to go with calendars, I would suggest combining it with an Etsy planner shop because both of these sort of go together and just calendars would be like it's a bit too little. Moving on, ah, it's already so many, <laughs> but we have a lot more to go. We're not even halfway there. You have printable tags, and by printable tags, I mean printable tags for things like bottles, like, you know, to put on a bottle, or printable tags even as thank you. I do know that there are a lot of printable Etsy shops that their buyers are actually Etsy sellers because they have these like printable small tags that you can print either on a sticker or as a card that says, thank you for shopping from my handmade shop. Please follow me on Instagram. And then they leave it blank and the seller just buys up the bundle, prints it out and then list it manually, which is pretty cool. Another thing you can do, and we are coming a bit into the kids territory here is printable 
flashcards. A lot of people want to learn numbers, want to learn words in different languages, and printable flashcards are a big thing, especially for kids, especially with alphabet letters in all languages. Moving on with this, we have the printable games for kids, and printable games for kids, again, it can be so many. You could create a printable memory game, like, you know, you have several sheets that when people cut them out, they will see on one side like a flag and then make the same sheet with the same different squares and a country and then you put them all together on the floor, covered up, and you need to open them and match country to flag. You can also just do both of the flags or flower to flower in any kind of kids level, you know, any kind of age, any kind of stuff. And I know that a lot of people are really looking into printable games because, well, you know, we have been quarantined for about a year now and the world is pretty much looking into what you can do at home. Moving on to this, this is a topic that has always been a nice niche on Etsy but has really expanded in the past year, which is printable homeschooling sheets. And I know that a lot of teachers and a lot of teacher aides found themselves making a full business on Etsy selling printable homeschooling sheets for any type of topic. On this topic, even though it's not written down, I also know people who sell like printable, I don't want to say essays, but sort of like these books, printable books for kids that are educational. For example, let's look at some people who are, like in, who are inventors, like uh, Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the phone, we have Albert Einstein. We also have all these like scientists take all of them, have like small illustrations of them and summarize what they invented and talk about it in a page and sell it as a printable book for kids. Some people are going to buy it because this is something that could really interest them to give their kids to do or to read that isn't a computer. I also know a lot of people who don't do this as printables. They still give out a digital file so people can put them on the iPad and give the kid an iPad to learn from because a lot of kids have taken into iPads and there's just nothing you can do about it. All of these printable educational games for kids can also be Sudoku, can also be word search puzzles and all kinds of that. Really everything that you would go to a store and buy this like combined book of puzzles and mind tricks, you can make it for kids but you can also make it for adults because Printable thinking games for adults are a huge thing. Sudoku is a huge thing for people in quarantine that just want to print out a nice Sudoku. And yes, if you go onto Google and you search for Sudokus, you can just print it out yourself, but it's not going to be as fancy as you guys are going to make it with a little bit of talent and Excel. You also have a lot of printable games for adults, and I don't mean it in a nasty way. <laughs> But I do mean stuff like you can actually create a printable trivia game, like a trivia TV show game or a trivia countries game or trivias about the United States or any other country and create a nice game that people can print out, cut out and basically play in socializing and in groups. There are a lot of people who made a full Etsy store just for printable bachelorette party games. So really the possibilities are endless and I am thinking about making a full video just about how to make printable card games. Moving on, we have printable lunchbox cards or affirmation cards that I've seen most people do it. So they basically take up an A4 or US letterhead paper and they sort of divide it into six. So you have like six horizontal straps that they cut out and in those straps it says like something like, mama loves you, have an amazing day, or good luck on your test, don't forget to do your homework, or I hope you like this delicious meal, or you are good enough, you are the smartest, you are the bravest, you are loved. And in those cases, I know that a lot of mothers do it themselves, but some mothers have zero talent in writing or in designing something pretty. And if you design something simple that is pretty, that has a nice background and good calligraphy, you could have a sale. And I know that a lot of people use it for lunchbox for kids, but I do also know that some people do sort of this uh, affirmations in a jar kind of thing, even as an adult. So I seen one time, I remember, there was this Etsy shop that had, I think that in each page of an A4, there were like 20 or so sentences, small quotes or something that you can cut out. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to fold all of them and put them all in a jar. And every time you feel like <laughs> you take one out 
or every day when you wake up you take one out and you feel you know excited and inspired so they have either quotes or affirmations because printable affirmations are a very very big thing on Etsy and in the world in general right now I mean throughout this crisis people are looking for a way to keep themselves motivated at home to keep themselves sane at home and mental health has been a really really huge thing since coronavirus started it was before but right now you're seeing like normal people who are not expected to have any mental illness in their lives not genetically not because of a life circumstance or an event that happened to them but now find themselves for the first time feeling lost feeling uncertain feeling insecure feeling the trauma so i really do think that coming in to doing like printable affirmations could be an amazing idea for kids and for adults. Moving on, printable signs. And this was, I think, one of my top sellers when I had an Etsy shop a year ago when coronavirus just started. I flat out made 50 signs uh, on A4. I made, I think it was 20 horizontal and 20 vertical that says, please wear your mask when entering this facility or now is the time to put your mask on and all of these kind of different things because people were looking for signs to put on their businesses for people to put on a mask and a lot of these times people don't want to just write stuff down i wrote stuff like put your mask here uh, like when you go past this door put your mask on and just smile with your eyes stuff like that and if you sell them for a couple of dollars people are gonna buy them and printable signs are still a huge thing and not just for coronavirus mask on signs but you know even happy birthday signs happy retirement we love you dad we love you mom all kinds of birthday and event signs and these signs could be one single page or they can be multiple pages i know a store that sort of did like a happy birthday sign they had a vertical page for like a heart and then a vertical page for H and for A and for P so it's basically like printing out all of these pages together to create like a wall that says happy birthday and people still buy it so signs could be a good idea I think that if you're making stuff for signs maybe combine it with other things like flashcards or other things for birthdays like if all of your signs and all of your things about like retirement and birthdays and anniversary maybe just make greeting cards for birthday retirement and anniversary as well as well as get well signs and get well cards i also saw a few signs like for wedding venues or for birthday venues where you have like place gift here with an arrow which could also work you just have to think about all the different signs that you can make and try and combine it with other products because if a person comes into your store because they want to find a happy birthday banner for a birthday party that they're planning they might also be interested in a happy birthday greeting card and in a put your gifts here kind of sign. So try and really think about what kind of topics go together in your head. What would be most interesting to buyers to come in and see several things and buy them all. And I think that now we are sort of moving towards digital files that are not necessarily printables. And this is where it gets interesting because a lot of people sell SVG files for CreekUp machines. Like people who want to use a CreekUp machine to do anything from stickers or anything from like cutting out wood. So they actually sell SVG files. And I also know a lot of people who sell clip art and graphics and illustrations because yes, if you made a nice illustration, you can put it on a card, but you can sell it as is for personal or for commercial use. And if this is what you're planning to do, I have two tips for you. Selling graphics, selling clip art for personal or commercial use needs to be done in bundles. So you wouldn't be selling one item, you will be selling several. So for example, you would make five like watercolor illustrations of the sun, five watercolor illustrations of the moon, 10 different types of clouds and weather, and put them in a bundle and sell them all together as one product, one listing. And the second tip I have to give you is that you put in a personal use license and a commercial use license so I see a lot of store that everything in the store is for personal use and you can add a little bit money for commercial use you can also create your entire store to be commercial use and if any of you have an Etsy store that has graphics for commercial use for print on demand let me know I'll make a video about you if your stuff are good because my people are gonna want to see it just letting you know 
another thing that people are selling is digital download files that relates to the graphics are fonts. You can literally create your own fonts and upload them and zip them in a way to be a font that people can install to their computer. If you don't know how to do it and you don't want to learn how to do it, you could also sell the calligraphy, the lettering themselves as graphic files. You can also sell graphic files of already made texts. The possibilities are endless. And again, you need to remember to bundle things up and make it very clear the personal and commercial uses that are allowed and how much each of them costs. Another thing that could make up a whole store on Etsy or combine itself with the graphics and fonts is digital paper packs, which are usually 12 inch by 12 inch designs, usually seamless patterns that people can print out, they can use it for their scrapbook, they can use it for origami, or they can use it as backgrounds for any type of commercial and non-commercial use. For example, I could use something like this as a background for my social media paste, and I can also use this as a seamless pattern for products. And again, just like with the graphics and the fonts, you need to make sure that you are very clear on what is personal and what is commercial use. I do recommend pricing yourself to a commercial use level because you can't really control what people are doing with your items. I mean, you can find someone who sold your item somewhere, but you can't really control it and can't really make sure that you found everyone who does it. So if I were to do something like this, I would personally just mark everything up for commercial use. Another thing that is a huge, huge, huge success, and I see stores that do a lot of money with it, is designing things for social media. They design Facebook covers, they design banners, and they also design Instagram story highlights, which are the little, little circles, and sell them up in bundles, including Instagram story backgrounds for Ask Me Anything, for polls, and for anything like that. People also sell full-on Etsy kits with an Etsy logo and an Etsy cover photo. And the way that they do it can be in both ways. It could either be personalized or it could just be the background where people would have to go in and add the text themselves. I'm reminding you that I will have a full personalized video in April to talk about all the options you have for selling personalized items on Etsy, physical or digital. Another thing that people sell on Etsy is mock-ups, especially wall art mock-ups. So if you have a nice room in your house with a nice light, go to a Dollar Tree store, buy a bunch of frames in different sizes and photograph it. People might want it because it is special, it's different, it's more unique. And a lot of people are looking for different mock-ups because they don't want to keep using the same mock-ups as anyone else. Because as I said at the beginning of this very long video, when you're selling printable wall art, mock-ups are the most important part. Moving on to eBooks. I have seen eBooks on Etsy so much. I've seen people selling eBooks on managing my anxiety, eBooks on how to plan a healthy meal, eBooks on, on marketing. Pretty much any topic that you can make an eBook about, you can still sell it on Etsy, even though Etsy is not Amazon and it wasn't designated for books. The most important part in this case or in this scenario where you open a shop for ebooks is to market them yourselves. The best way to market an ebook would be with your own website and on the 29th I will show you how to build your own website to support your Redbubble products, but that would also be a good lesson for people who want to sell ebooks. If you wanted me to make a full video tutorial on how to sell ebooks or how to sell, you know, on your own website, how to open a website for printable downloads that is not on Etsy. Let me know. I could do it for April. I'm still working on my April video list and I really want to put in like, I'm really aiming for maybe one video a day during April because I'm crazy and I'm masochistic. Moving on. And this is actually another printable. People sell printable tarot cards. They design themselves tarot cards based on the Rider White, which is the iconic tarot card package that has the sun and the moon and the high level arachna and all the lower level and all that and they basically do it with their own illustrations as well as people who sell guidebooks for tarot and i think we're nearing my last one which is files for 3d printing which i'm not going to say a lot about because it's really not a topic that i know a lot about and i really like talking about things that i know about and this concludes 
uh, how many it's over 25 business ideas and again you can combine them together you can sell printable wall art that is your design and photography you can sell printable photography as just a photo or make it fitting you know printable sizes with all the variations and aspect ratios you can sell printable coloring pages alongside sudoku and other kind of printable thinking games you can really do so much with this you can sell your printable flashcards along with printable educational games for kids and homeschooling kits for kids. There is really no limit to the things that you can sell that people can download, print at home, cut, play, fill in, and do anything about it. I mean, Etsy really does have this enormous potential and I think that a lot of people fail on Etsy because they don't understand that they're gonna have to do their own marketing as well. And I think that in a lot of ways, there are so many people on YouTube who make it sound so easy. Like, hey, start a printable wall art on Etsy and start making money tomorrow because you only have to design it once and 50 people are gonna buy it and you don't have to work for it. So in some terms, it's correct. You make one printable wall art file and you don't have to work for it, even if 40 people or 100 people order it. But to make that one file, you have to make that one file in like, Five different aspect ratios, make sure it's big enough, find your inspiration, bundle it all up together, make good mock-ups about it, have SEO research, know what to put in your tags, upload it, and market it. And the thing is, you have to keep doing it. You have to constantly upload listings, two, three listings a day, to make sure that Etsy knows, hey, I'm active, I'm here to stay. I'm taking my Etsy business seriously. You're gonna have to open an Instagram account for that or a Facebook and Pinterest and really put yourself out there. And I don't think that a lot of people get that. So if you're thinking about, I'm gonna open a printable Etsy shop or a digital download Etsy business, I'm just gonna start it because I need to make money tomorrow, don't. It's a waste of time for you guys. If you're not in it for the long run, don't start it. I mean, yes, it's going to be relatively easier to start if you're opening a printable greeting card business a month before Christmas. Yeah, things are gonna get really easier for that instead of, you know, opening it in a random day. But any one of these topics is a journey of its own. I am reminding you that I have several videos already made on printable wall art. I am having a video in two days on how I personally make printable greeting cards. I'm gonna show you how you can make it using Canva and how to even make the mock-up. If you liked any of the other topics that I've just mentioned and you want me to make a full video just about them, please let me know in the comment section below. And this video is coming to its end right now. I would like to thank all of you for participating in the live chat. It's always such a fun time for me. I mean, seriously, whenever a live premiere starts and I see like the clock counting down, it's like my favorite time of the day. And I do have to say that during quarantine and being far away from all of my friends, that you guys make me seriously super, super happy. So keep on coming to the live premieres. As usual, I'm always announcing when a new video is going to go live through my Instagram, which is may.arroyo, and you will find a link to that down below as well. That's it for today. And I will see you in two days with how to make and sell printable greeting cards on Etsy. And um, if you're really not that into Etsy, just so you know, on the 14th, there is a full video on how to sell photography online in so many platforms. On the 16th, we have how I personally promote my Redbubble store. On the 19th, I will give you 15 niche ideas and sub niches for Redbubble, which is also for Society6 for any kind of print-on-demand store or for any kind of Etsy, even wall art. On the 21st, I will have, and, and right now I'm seeing a mistake because this should have been listed on the business ideas because on the 21st, we have how to make money selling printable stationary paper on Etsy, which is another topic that I forgot. I think I'm really... <laughs> Too much YouTube videos make may may cray cray, I guess. On the 23rd, I will be talking about why I never sold a t-shirt on Redbubble and what I do sell. And I'm reminding you that the topics you chose for the end of the video month on the 26th, a full video on Google SEO. And on the 29th, how to build your own website for free. 
to promote your print on demand shops. And that's it from me for today. If you like this video, hit that like button below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Leave a comment with everything you want me to make a video about because seriously, guys, I have like 300 ideas for videos that I want to make and I would love your help in narrowing them down. And just, you know, let me know what you're more interested in because I really do make these videos in, in hopes that someone would watch them. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about these business ideas and what business idea you want me to elaborate on more. And as usual, I will see you in my next video. Bye!